Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Skin Fetish and I got the shade Gold and these are extremely expensive and I thought it would be a great idea to film a review and my thoughts on the product. I've had it for about a week and a half now. So what I first want to do is show you the products. So it comes with a brush. It basically looks like a dual fiber brush, but instead of the hairs being black, they're all white. So the brush is a little bit different than anything I've ever seen. I have not used the brush just because I prefer my brushes over this one. So the brush still is in the packaging and then it comes with the stick, the highlighter side and the balm side. The highlighting stick looks very similar to the Benefit What's Up highlighter. And then on the other side you basically just get what looks like a clear balm almost. And then the last product that you get is the powder highlighter itself, which just looks like this right here. And I'm going to do swatches at the end so you guys can see what everything looks like. I am going to read off of Sephora.com what it says. A transformative trio with a highlighter and balm duo brush and pigment to take highlighting to the level. Um, it says use without caution. Turn your skin on with skin fetish um, and transcend your look. Experiment with an array of exquisite effects from bare to dewy to stunning luminosity. Um, this kit is packed with backstage secrets so you can pull off a seductive skin. So this is how they say on Sephora.com how to use it. So swipe balm alone onto high points of skin for a fresh glow. Apply highlighter followed by balm pressed on top for a runaway radiance. Buff the pigment over the shiny stick duo for a surreal glam. I am going to show you guys individually how, how they look. Okay, so here is all three of them together. The balm is here, the highlighter, the glowy stick highlighter is here, and then the actual powder highlight is right there. So you can see they all look very similar. The cream highlighter is the most pigmented and then the balm has like the least pigment. So if you were going for like natural everyday, then you could do like, you could amplify it by mixing them all together. So that's what they all look like side by side. Okay, so now that you guys have seen how all three of these look, I'm just going to tell you from like personal experience how I feel like it applies, what to do with it, what not to do with it. Um, we're going to start with the stick first. The balm side of it, I say that this is best used alone on the face when you don't have any type of makeup on or if you put it under the makeup. So pretty much it works really good when it's adhered just to the skin. I feel like it doesn't do anything at all when you have a full face of makeup on or you have like a cream foundation on or liquid foundation on. I feel like it just doesn't stick to the skin very well and then if you add powder over top of it, it just looks like there's, it's just like sitting on the skin. It almost looks like it, like is powdery or chunky or has broken apart um, and pretty much the same for the actual cream highlighting side but this I feel like you can put it over top of your foundation and just set it with like the actual powder or another powder highlighter um, but these cannot the creams just don't do well with like over powders so if you're gonna use this I would recommend not using it over powder just Put, it, put this highlighting side, um, your actual highlighting side and not the balm side. I would say use that one over your foundation and do not set it until after. So, but I think, I think overall it's a good little product. I think it's really cool that they added the two different sides so you have options or you could mix all three of them together. I do have all three of them on my cheekbones right now, so sometimes you just you just have to be very careful with not putting it over the powder, or not putting it like on a powder foundation or any type of like translucent powder under it. And then this highlighter here, I think is so pretty. It's very different. 
um, than anything I've ever seen. It's like, it's gold, but it's a white gold, and it's, it has a little bit of shimmer in it. It almost looks like multi-dimensional. Like, it's just very, it's very cool. It's, it's very innovative. It's very different, and I think it's a great product to have. Do I think it was, was worth $70? No, I do not. I think it retails for $72. Um, I feel like they should have lowered the price and I paid for, yeah, it's $72. So I feel like I paid for more of the packaging and like what it came in because this is actually what it came in. So I feel like I paid for more of the presentation of it than all the products together. If it would have came without a brush, I would have been just fine. I don't feel like this brush is anything very special. I mean, I have one super similar to it. This is my brush here, and this is the brush that it came with. They're super similar. This is the MAC 160 or 83. I don't know. The, the names have rubbed off over time. But I just feel like this, like you could have just used this, and it would have been perfectly fine. They pretty much do the same things. So in my personal opinion, I don't think that like the brush should have had should have been included in it. I don't think the brush was really worth it. I like how it has the two different sides in here. Um, you don't really get a whole lot of product. Yeah, this is it turned the whole entire way. So I mean, you really don't get a whole lot of product. I'm not saying that you know I would go through it that quickly, but if you highlight every single day then I think you may go through it pretty quickly. Um, I'm not personally like a cream highlighter type of person and it is one extra step for me to do, but I think it's a really cool effect that it gives. You know, when you're out in the sunlight or if you're going out to the club and you hit one of like the black lights, it's really cool and it's, it's really interesting. And the only, I really like this, I like the formula, it's very easy to blend. The only thing I don't really like about this is the packaging, which is just, me being petty but I think that this just looks like a little sample like size of it like I don't think I just don't think it was worth $70 I mean I think if they would have lowered the price around like 50 I think $50 would have been a much better price for it so I went to Ulta yesterday and I actually found what I think is going to be a dupe for it this is the Revolution makeup and this is their Ultra Strobe Balm. So the packaging looks like this. And basically what it is, is it's a cream, it's like a powdery cream form. So it's basically like if you mix the highlighter and the actual powder together. But it looks just like this. And when I went to Ulta, they had two different colors. They had the gold and they had the pinky, more pinky tone one or the neuter one. So, I mean, like, you get a whole entire pan full size. This was $7 at Ulta, so it's very, very, very affordable. I'm going to swatch it next to the other ones, and I'll let you guys see. Okay, so there it is swatched down here. It is very similar to if you mix those two together. So, I feel like this is a complete and total dupe. So, if you don't want to spend the money, I think this Makeup Revolution would be a perfect way to pretty much use the same kind of products and get the same effect. I love this so far. It's awesome. It looks great. Um, it's just very pretty and it dries to like a powder finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you in kind of um, buying the product. In my opinion, like I said, I don't think it was worth $70. However, if you're a highlight lover or just a makeup lover, it is really cool to have in your collection. I would totally go for the Makeup Revolution one. You can find this at Ulta. I feel like for $7 I could use this and then apply more gold highlighter over top and it would look stunning. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know down below if you've tried either one of these products. I'd love to know and hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!